I'm running the battery to empty this morning. I'm going to record a video showing how the battery charges over time. I'm going to start with an empty battery and then I'm going to plot voltage and state of charge versus time. You'll be able to see if your battery is empty after one hour, how much state of charge have you recovered after two hours, how much state of charge have you recovered after three hours and so on. And this is important to understand so you can charge your battery safely. A lot of times we kind of have to guess and leave the battery plugged in for a long time and electric recommends that you don't charge fully and leave it fully charged for a long time and if you're going to store it for a while it's better to leave it at you know something like 60 to 70 percent charge but if you don't know how fast the battery state of charge increases over time it's hard to tell how long to leave the, the battery plugged in by studying how the battery charges hour by hour from an empty battery i'm hoping to better understand the charging curve uh, of the charger and battery combination for the electric xp 3.0 and specifically i'm looking at the 14 amp hour battery because that's what i have i'm gonna call the battery pretty close to empty here i'm seeing a resting voltage of uh, approximately 41.4 41.5 and under load it's dropping down to under 41 on fairly flat ground this is kind of downhill here but on flat ground i'm only really maintaining about five miles an hour and as far as current goes i'm seeing one to two amps is all the battery can put out right now when at full charge it can put up to 20 amps it's pretty much uh not assisting anything at this point yeah if all it can output is one amp i'm gonna call that empty i'm going to start plotting the charging profile for the xp 3.0 i took the bike down to under 42 volts barely able to accelerate with only one amp of current so i'm at z time zero voltage i'm gonna call it 41.5 we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna be checking the voltage every half an hour so we can see how the state of charge and voltage ramps up over time and be able to understand how quickly the battery charges. So when I plug in the charger, the charger understands that the battery is at a low state of charge because it's only coming up to about 42 volts initially and I expect the charger to ramp up the voltage over time. I'm gonna be checking every 30 minutes. After one hour of charging, we see the charging voltage has gone up to 46.5. Let's see what the battery voltage is at. So after one hour, the battery voltage is at 46.2, 46.1. Let's call it 46.2. So after an hour of charging, the state of charge has gone up to 46%. Started at approximately 16%. Gonna plug it back in and continue to monitor the charge curve. At five hours of charging, the battery is at 52.2. 8 volts. It's getting close to full charge but not quite there yet. 52.8 volts after 5 hours we're at 88.5% state of charge. So let's keep going. At the 6 hour mark the battery is at 54.2 volts. 54.6 volts is fully charged. It's getting very close so maybe another half hour or so. I imagine the charging does go a little bit slower right at the end where we're at right now. Here we are at six and a half hours. And let's see what the battery voltage is at. Battery voltage, 54.5, 54.6. So I would call that fully charged. So it took six and a half hours to fully charge the battery from what felt like empty. I'll make a graph of state of charge versus time, which again should help us understand to get to a certain state of charge, how long we need to plug the battery in for based on where we're at as a starting state of charge. So what have we learned? If we look at the charging profile, you see that at the beginning, the battery charges pretty quickly. You can get up to over 50% state of charge from a discharged battery in about an hour and a half. After that, the charging rate slows down a bit. And once you get past 90% state of charge at over five hours of charging time, you'll see that it slows down even a bit more. And this is typical behavior of lithium ion batteries. You'll see them charge very quickly at the beginning, then slow down to some medium rates and then really slow down a little bit more. Uh, at the end of charge. So how long did it take to go from uh, a state of charge where the bike the bike was not moving anymore under its own power up to 100%? It took six and a half hours, which I think is pretty close to what uh, electric estimates for full charging time from a discharge battery. Another interesting thing to see is that the state of charge when the bike no longer moves is not really zero. You know, once you get below 20% state of charge, you're not really getting much uh, assistance from the battery and the motor anymore. This table gives you an idea of how to charge your battery. 
If you're storing it for a while, you want to keep it near 50% or 50 to 70% is a good range. So if you start with a fully discharged battery, you'll want to plug it in for a couple of hours at least to get over 50% if you're going to store it for a while. So now that we've learned how the battery charges, I'll do a follow up video later describing how you can use this information to keep your battery healthy and running for a long time. If you find this type of content useful, please consider subscribing and hit that like button to be notified of future content.